Can you believe we made it this far into our run of tutorial videos without talking about avant-garde filmmaker David Lynch? You see, he has a theory, which I'm going to paraphrase here, but I'll link somewhere down below there, about the duck's eye. And it kind of might seem like it makes no sense, but bear with me here, it's going somewhere. In his mind, imagine a perfectly represented painting of a duck. But you take the eye and you paint that somewhere on the tail. You look at that thing and it just seems wrong. It seems uncanny and it's not a finished thing. It's not correct. It's not right. And he talks about this in terms of filmmaking. But I want to talk about that in terms of your routine. And in fact, I want to talk about this on two levels, on an act level and on a particular move level as well, because I think they're both important. And how that placement of that one feature, that one key feature that draws attention, can really change the interpretation of what you're doing. If it's in the quote-unquote wrong place, it can kind of detract from everything. And then when it clicks into place, it just draws everything together and holds it there. So we'll start with the micro level, on a move-by-move -move level. This is something which I think is really important to dive into and to play around with because it'll make you think about the real minutiae of these contact moves. And that's to think, what is the key moment, the key element of this move that I want to put across to the audience? What is the one piece that if I flub it, if it doesn't go well, if it's not perfectly executed, is gonna really detract and not leave the same impression that I wanna leave? So take, for example, a chest roll. Chest roll is such a, a clear, simple move. Ball starts here, travels across the chest, returns here. So where's the magic in that? Is it the ball leaving? Is it the ball coming back? For me personally, the magic part is here when it reaches the chest because for an audience, there's, for a lay audience in particular, there's no control point here. That's the magical moment. So if your hands come up to cover that, to hide that key moment there, you lose so much of that impact. So for me, the focus on that chest roll, as well as making the biggest, nicest shape that I can with it, is to really highlight, to take the time with this section across the chest here and to put that across to the audience. For a butterfly, I mean, I can go so deep into the butterfly on important key moments, but watching it back, watching Michael Motion's version of that, which I strongly recommend if you haven't seen Michael Motion doing the butterfly that he kind of put together that version of it, just go back because he still does it as well as pretty much anyone. You can see the symmetry in his hands on these outside parts just so clearly. It just frames this move so nicely and it just adds to that extra element of magic to it. So again, any particular moves in your sequence, particularly important sale moves, like these money moves that you're putting across, Think about what the intention is there and where you want that focus to land. You can even think of it almost like a roll of film. Again, that film analogy. You're moving frame by frame through the move. What do you want each one of those frames to say? And how can you then portray that, put that across? And then on the macro level, with the routine itself, is there a particular sequence of moves or a particular move that you want to really stay with the audience? that key move that everything's building around, and where's that gonna go? Is it gonna be the finale? Are you gonna build everything up to there and then leave the audience with that? Is it gonna come in the middle? Are you gonna have the build up and then a calm come down afterwards? Think about moving that point around, making the focus on the introduction, on the finale, on your key moves in the middle, and just play around with it and see if something speaks to you more or something feels more like it's going to have more an impression. And yeah, take the eye of the duck and shift it about and see if there's a place where it just fits into place and it makes sense and adds context to everything you're doing.